Good morning, Huffington Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muzzy. Today we'll have a new Fun Fact Friday with Mr. Rockwood. You'll hear the answer to our question of the day, and you'll be keeping your eyes sharp with a new Have You Seen This? But first, we have our Assistant Principal, Mrs. Benvedic, with today's announcement. Thank you. Good morning, Huffington Middle School. Community will be selling handmade winter scarves today and next week. Proceeds from the sale of the scarves will benefit Greyhound Friends and the HMS Courtyard Project. Drama Club rehearsals for the spring production of Cinderella will take place every day next week and run until 5 p.m. Monday is a day seven. I also want to take a minute to give eighth grade students a heads up on our next fundraiser to benefit the Washington DC trip, a calendar raffle. So what is a calendar raffle? The concept of the calendar raffle is that each day during the month of March, one person will win the designated amount of money. For example, on Tuesday, March 1st, the winner takes home $25. On Thursday, March 17th, the prize is $75 and $50 on Sunday, March 27th. Each day, the winning name will be returned to the raffle for another chance to win each day for the rest of the month. Every person who purchases a calendar will have a total of 31 chances to win. The calendars cost $10 each, and we're asking that each grade 8 student sells 10 calendars. Each student who sells a minimum of 10 will have his or her name entered to win the final payment of the DC trip paid for. For students not attending the trip, you would be eligible to take home $348 cash. Students will receive the calendars and directions this Tuesday, February 1st. The fundraiser is voluntary, and we ask that any student who chooses not to participate to please return the envelope with the calendars. Birthdays today go out to Eric Letus, Jacob Morrow, and Connor Murphy. Happy birthday on Saturday to Austin Fair Smith, Sneha Joswell, and Cameron Mulvaney. And happy birthday on Sunday to Brooke Best. Everyone remember to make it a great day. Thank you, Mrs. Benvenick. Next up with a new obscure fact is Mr. Rockwood with, for Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Yes, we're back. Last week I mentioned that it would be our last televised edition while well, I was remiss. And the rumors of my retirement are greatly exaggerated. I have some assistance today with our fun frack, so here we go. English is spoken by an estimated 1.5 billion people worldwide. The countries with the highest population of native English speakers are the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. English is one of six official languages of the United Nations, as well as French, Russian, Spanish, Arabic, and Chinese Mandarin. Thank you, Mr. Rockwood. Now it's on to our question of the day. Today we will ask you what you would change if you were president. If I were president, I would make sure that each student could go to college and come out debt free. No homework! We would resign and let Kanye be president. I would get rid of the Miami Dolphins. Get rid of the New England Patriots. Hello, let's go Patriots! Woo -hoo. Make a war. Make our national symbol a pancake. Give basketball to all the kids in the world. Make Miss Weiss be here. I would change everything. Make summer longer. Solve world hunger. Yeah. Give homes to everyone. Yeah. And the world hunger. More ballers. There would be no school. We would, we would give, give everyone one million dollars. We, we would make more french fries. I'd make it so that there's a seven day weekend. I would change all the taxes and give people with low income more money. I would make everyone be more like me. <laughs> I would ban school. Whoa, we got a ton of answers for that one. Thank you for sharing. And now it's time to reveal the winner of last week's Have You Seen This? Congratulations to Victoria Craig, Jacob Sullivan, and Scott Paliuka for finding the pillar in the library. Stop by the office to claim your prize. And now here's today's picture. Have you seen this around the school? If you have, send an email to mstv at hillers.org and you could be our next winner. That's all we have for this week at middle school for HMS Today. I'm James Muzzy. Get out there and study hard.